Well, good afternoon. Uh, this is Ralph Winnie Jr., Director of the China Program at the Eurasia Center, Vice President of Global Business Development for Eurasian Business Coalition. We're here to just talk with Ambassador Francisco Campbell of the nation of Nicaragua regarding cultural and trade diplomacy. Um, Ambassador Campbell, how are you doing? I am doing wonderful and really grateful for the opportunity to speak about uh, diplomacy, culture, especially about my, uh, my experience at the University of Hawaii some 50 years ago. Well, tell us about that. How did you come to um, study uh, at the University of Hawaii and what did you take from the experience? living and studying uh, in our great state of Hawaii? Well, um, I had the good fortune of running into a Hawaiian student uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, and uh, he um, suggested to me that Hawaii would be a very interesting place for me to study. And at the time, I was very adventurous, so I, I submitted an application and uh, was admitted to the university. Uh, when I got to, to, to Hawaii, I went there with the idea of studying business administration. But then, being in that uh, vi a vibrant, uh, a cosmopolitan uh, state with students from all over, the, all over the world, I developed an interest in other cultures, other people, and um, I believe that's where my, uh, my interest in going into international relations and, uh, and uh, diplomacy really uh, took hold. I, during my time at the University of Hawaii, I was president of the International Student Association from uh, 1972 until 73, and uh, had the opportunity of uh, really um, uh, promoting the various cultural expressions and uh, manifestations of the, uh, of the international student body at the University of Hawaii. So that was a, a tremendous uh, experience for me and uh, it played a very important role in my uh, becoming a uh, diplomat uh, for the last um, 45 years. And what have you taken from your experience in Hawaii that has led you to become a very effective diplomat representing Nicaragua's interests uh, here in Washington, DC? The openness and uh, willingness uh, to uh, listen to other people, develop empathy and clear understanding of their their uh, culture and their uh, their aspirations, um, valuing uh, the points of view of other people, and uh, uh, be in, in a, as a whole being very very uh, empathetic. I think that's one of the characteristics that I found in, uh, in Hawaii, a great, uh, a large degree of uh, tolerance and openness and willingness to, to accommodate others. And that aloha spirit, I think, uh, plays a very important role, has played a very important role in my, in my career. And I think it has helped me very, very much in being uh, at the vet, an effective diplomat representing Nicaragua, not only uh, in the United States, but also in tours of duty in Africa as well. What are some of the challenges to being um, an effective ambassador for Nicaragua in the United States, would you say that well, most people don't a, realize or understand? <laughs> we, have a, we have had a very difficult um, uh, history. 
um, with the United States going back to um, going back to the eighteen uh, to the eighteen fifties. Um, um, we have had uh, U.S. Um, uh, insistence and in trying to um, impose um, uh, the interests of the United States on Nicaragua at the expense of the Nicaraguan people. And so, as a diplomat, my my job is to try to uh, find ways to get around those uh, uh, kind of um, uh, difficulties, those kinds of complications, to try to overcome uh, uh, what I refer to as uh, ideological prejudices, and to find ways of identifying areas in which we can work together in, in advancing the fundamental interests of our, of our two peoples. Um, there are areas in which Nicaragua and the United States must uh, cooperate in the interests of our two peoples. And uh, my job is to try to reach out and to bring that to the attention not only of government officials in the United States, but also to the American people as a whole, pointing out that there are things that we can do together that uh, would be of benefit to our two peoples, especially in the areas, for example, of uh, security, the fight against drug trafficking and organized crime, dealing with the uh, challenges posed by, by uh, irregular uh, migration, handling issues uh, pertaining to uh, climate change. Central America is one of the uh, most vulnerable regions of the world, as is Hawaii, to the sure. effects of, um, cli of climate change. And so these are all areas that um, we need to find ways of uh, cooperating, of working together to advance the fundamental interests of our two people. And how has has uh, relations uh, changed since you have been ambassador? Would you say it's improved for the better? Um, or are there still constant challenges that you're having to react to? There, there, are, there are constant challenges, while at the same time we, uh, we, are, making, um, we are making important progress in significant areas. For example, uh, the United States is uh, the most important trading partner for for Nicaragua, and we would like to to see that uh, continue to grow, continue to improve. And uh, we are definitely uh, cooperating uh, in the fight against drug trafficking and organized crime. Uh, we believe that uh, that the United States could do more in terms of uh, dealing with the challenges posed by by drugs in, uh, and the abuse of drugs within, within the United States. We are no part, we are doing our best to intercept as much of the drugs as, as we can, because we are, Nicaragua is neither a producer nor a consumer of drugs. Our territory is uh, being used by drug traffickers to, um, to, uh, to, for their shipment, for the shipment of the drugs to the United States. So our job is to um, intercept as much of the drugs as we can. And Nicaragua is very, very effective in that regard. We are the most effective partner of the United States in, in the Central American region in terms of effectiveness in the fight against drug trafficking uh, and organized crime. And so um, there are areas in which we have, um, we have made great uh, improvements. But, but there is there are still uh, many areas in which we need to continue to work and uh, Nicaragua continues to, to continues to show goodwill and a willingness to uh, to uh, work effectively with the United States and that's and my so, job. that's great that's very very important and I had the privilege of attending your um, a reception that you hosted that was geared to promoting tourism and leisure resort development. As you know, Hawaii is a major tourism and leisure destination and our family business in Hawaii was real estate. 
So I found that quite fascinating that Nicaragua was really promoting tourism and leisure development as a way to generate income for the economy. How do you see that continuing to develop in terms of promoting positive relations with the United States and overcoming the ideological prejudices that you described? Um, I, I think it's um, I think it's very very uh, it's a very important part a very important component in our development uh, our development strategy. As you know, Nicaragua has a lot to offer. We have um, we have uh, uh, certain possibilities on 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 the uh, Pacific side of the country. We have beautiful beaches on the. Uh, uh, on the uh, Caribbean side of the country, we have uh, the uh, tropical rainforest uh, on, the, on the eastern part of the country. The largest tropical rainforest north of Brazil is, in fact, on the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua. And that, that uh, provides interesting fauna and flora that is uh, uh, in very attractive to people who are interested in in that type of, uh, of tourism. Then we also have uh, uh, the, the culture, uh, the uh, colonial uh, uh, history. And uh, in fact, Nicaragua has a, a wide, wide variety of, uh, of, of things to offer for, uh, for, uh, for the, the case of, uh, of any, um, any uh, tourist interested in in uh, uh, opportunities to get to know about other people's other cultures and what they have to offer. And so um, we are doing our best to promote Nicaragua as a tourism destination. And uh, I, uh, I, as one who uh, lived in Hawaii, and saw how tourism has played a very important role in the economy of that country. I value uh, what we have to offer, and uh, I would like to encourage uh, uh, pe uh, tourists, people from all over the United States, to think about the possibility of including Nicaragua in their uh, in their vacation plan. Well, that would be that would be very interesting to have more and more Americans travel to Nicaragua and learn about um, the tourism leisure opportunities um, and. Because uh, you don't hear a lot of positive information coming out of Nicaragua. That's always been a challenge, as you said, throughout the years. But having you That's as correct. ambassador, I think, has been very effective because you trained in the United States, in Hawaii, and you understand the American mindset. And you're also able to effectively articulate Nicaragua's priorities in terms of That's the areas correct. of cooperation. How, how, mm -hmm. how do you see that moving forward, um, you know, uh, in terms of finding uh, ways to promote um, global peace and dialogue? Um, has Nicaragua been the focal point in terms of that goal? Um, where, where do you see your priorities moving forward at this point? Well, my, my priority continues to be be the same thing. We, it is important that um, that we find ways in which we can uh, open avenues of uh, communication. That we identify ways in which we can uh, cooperate to the benefit of uh, both countries, uh, and that being. Uh, looking at opportunities for uh, collaboration in the uh, in uh, the exchange of culture, education, uh, technical abilities, sharing of uh, of, uh, of, of, of of knowledge, a sharing of uh, experiences, and um, all of these uh, these uh, these are things that. Uh, that can be uh, that can be put on the table so that uh, we can find ways in which we can enhance a greater understanding, greater communication 
um, in such a way that it uh, it it becomes beneficial for for the uh, for for the, the peoples of the of the two uh, of the two countries. As I was telling you from uh, at the outset, um, my experience in 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 Hawaii really inculcated in me uh, openness, uh, willingness to uh, really um, uh, appreciate um, what other people has to has to offer and uh, and value it in such a way that uh, we can uh, in sharing we can enhance the quality of, of life uh, for each other and um, I, I I think that is uh, at the core of how I approach my uh, my work here and I think um, I I uh, I do my best to 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 transmit um, the empathy that uh, that I feel towards uh, the people of the of the United States and uh, my um, willingness to uh, to transmit my understanding of the United States to the Nicaraguan authorities so that they too can have a better appreciation of what. Uh, what the, the United States and the people of the United States are all about, overcoming some of the um, some of the uh, misunderstanding and some of the prejudices that uh, um, has uh, obstructed, has made it more difficult for us to um, find ways of working together. And so that's the that's the challenge, and uh, that is how I approach. Uh, the, the work that um, that I am um, charged with here in the United States, and um, uh, hopefully we are going to continue to make uh, progress in that regard. What advice would you give people that are aspiring to enter into the diplomatic field? Um, what qualities should they possess in terms of being an effective uh, diplomat? Willingness to Listen very carefully, very carefully, and try to try to uh, develop empathy for the for the other side. Try to uh, understand uh, what motivates them and where they are coming from. And only after listening very carefully, then uh, decide how to uh, how to approach uh, the challenges uh, posed by the uh, by the responsibility you are you are assuming. The important thing I believe is listening and empathy. Uh, that. Is the I to me that's the that's the starting point in order to be able to advance in any um, positive and significant way. How effective do you think the media has been in terms of uh, get, allowing you to effectively communicate your message um, to the American people? The the the, the American media. Uh, Generally, uh, I would say, uh, tend to be uh, uh, susceptible, uh, in my opinion, to official government narratives, even though they they would say otherwise. Uh, it seems to me that they would could be much more effective if they would take the time to really uh, uh, analyze more in depth uh, the various um, the various uh, situations that arise and not uh, limit themselves to uh, buy into what I would call the uh, the official narrative emanating from the from the government. Right. That is not true of all 
the all the all the media, but the majority, in my opinion, uh, tend to fall into that uh, into that category. How effective do you think um, sports diplomacy and peace building have been in terms of helping to promote uh, Nicaragua and its values and culture? Well, I think it has played a very, very important part. Both culture and sport is a very important component of our uh, of our uh, of, of our diplomacy. Um, we are uh, we are very good in baseball, and uh, uh, we have we have um, is we are known in the um, especially in the in the Central American and Caribbean region as a very important uh, uh, baseball uh, uh, country. Um, our uh, music and our uh, our uh, dance forms are also uh, very very uh, uh, highly appreciated and play a, a, a very important role. Our poetry, Nicaragua, Nicaragua is known as a uh, as a country of uh, of poets, all Nicaraguans, in one way or another, believe that they are they are they are they are poets, and so culturally and in sport, um, um, we have we have uh, we have uh, are very uh, recognized in the in the Central American region, especially in um, in in terms of uh, of baseball. And I was also going to add, I think your wife and your daughter have been very effective in terms of their engagement with the uh, legal and diplomatic community in Washington, D.C. Do you have anything to add about their role in Washington? Oh, well, uh, we, uh, we uh, believe uh, that, that the, uh, the, the entire family uh, has a role to play in projecting what uh, what Nicaragua is is, is all about. Uh, the family plays a very important role in uh, in Nicaragua, and uh, we believe that it's uh, it, it's important that that type of uh, that that family relationship uh, should be projected in our uh, in the our uh, work as as, as diplomats. Um, uh, Representing, representing Nicaragua. That is why uh, uh, my my wife and daughter they are always uh, along with me when we go to the various uh, events organized here in the in in Washington and other parts of the United States. Um, because um, everywhere we go, we we are in fact uh, representing. And the values and the uh, uh, and the essence of um, of uh, uh, the Nicaraguan nation, and so um, yes, their their role is uh, is, is uh, very very important, and I think it plays a very uh, very significant part of uh, our efforts here in the in the United States. When will your next trip to Hawaii be? Do you have any plans? Oh, um, <laughs> I, I am, I am looking forward to be able to do that uh, sometime, sometime in the near future. However, uh, there, I don't have any, uh, any uh, specific um, uh, uh, date uh, set as yet. But um, we are always looking for opportunities uh, to visit. Um, uh, that that state has, has played a very important role in my life. It, it really turned me around. I didn't know that I was I was going to be a diplomat until I went to to Hawaii, and that that is when I uh, I I really uh, began the foundation for what became uh, my career as a diplomat. And are many Nicaraguans traveling to Hawaii since COVID? Um, I don't. I'm not sure that there are there are many uh, Nicaraguans uh, uh, 
uh, traveling to, to Hawaii. Um, I, I would hope that uh, uh, as, as uh, conditions uh, uh, with respect to COVID uh, is, is, uh, is, uh, continues to improve, um, you will find more, uh, more uh, Nicaraguans uh, traveling, traveling abroad. Um, uh, as a result of COVID, we, uh, our, uh, our uh, attention was centered on promoting uh, what we call uh, domestic tourism, and that has really, has really taken off. But now that, um, that uh, all the airlines are flying again and things are opening up, who knows, maybe we might begin to see uh, Nicaragua traveling to Hawaii as well. I would want to be among the first to go. Ah, well, you will be the example, and people will follow. <laughs> <laughs> we need, but we need, we need, I need to get Hawaiians to come to, uh, to, come to Nicaragua as well. Absolutely. And um, I remember when I when I was uh, when I was uh, a student at uh, at the University of Hawaii, my dentist was a, a, a Japanese doctor by the name of Doctor Nishi, oh, okay. and much to my surprise, he told me that he had traveled to the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua to do bird watching. Oh, right. That's more, that's more than 50 years ago. Okay. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, Ambassador mm -hmm. Campbell, thank you for being on our show, Trading Around the World. Uh, it's been a very insightful conversation, and uh, we really appreciate your contributions and your connection with Hawaii. Thank you very, very much. And uh, whenever anything about Hawaii comes up, you can be assured that I am, I am always very, very interested and would just love, just love to talk about it. it as I said, it, it changed, Hawaii changed my life for the better. And I thank you very much for this opportunity. Well, you're very welcome. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.